I'm Sarah Darrow Lippman and I'm here to do a guest vlog for the 25 days of Christmas for Reading is Bliss. And this is my dog Benny who as you can see is dressed in his festive um, Mickey Mouse ears that my daughter brought him back from Disney World. Um, so um, I'm here to tell you about the things that I uh, love about Hanukkah. Um, as you can see from my festive earrings, I um, am Jewish. But I also wanted to tell you about some of the things that I envy about the people who celebrate Christmas because I have long had Christmas envy and that actually inspired my first book um, which is called Confessions of a Closet Catholic. Um, I really have all my life envy people who celebrate Christmas um, because I've always wanted to have a Christmas tree and I envy the fact that they get to hang up stockings and I also really envy the fact that they um, get to hang up all the holiday lights. Um, you know, in our, in, on our street, you can always tell that we're the house with the Jewish people living in it because it's like lights, 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 dark. Um, so that's always been something that I've really envied. Um, there are some things that really bug me about Christmas though. Um, I am a big fan of Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday, but oh, there's Roxy, that's my boyfriend's dog. Um, we're a big dog house in my house. Um, there are three dogs. Um, so um, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday of all the holidays um, ever because it's a holiday that all Americans celebrate no matter what religion they are. Um, and I, it's, it's, and the food is great and it's really my favorite holiday of all time. And what really upsets me about Christmas is that it's starting to creep up into Thanksgiving. Like I'm starting to see the stores, um, it used to be when I was growing up that you never saw anything to do with Christmas until after Thanksgiving. And what I'm starting to see is that, um, basically the stores are going straight from Halloween to, the, to Christmas stuff. And... Um, which leads me into number two, which is that um, they start playing Christmas carols like practically almost after Halloween. And so by the time Christmas comes, like I'm ready to um, jump off the third floor of the mall because I'm so sick of hearing them. Um, and the third thing that really bugs me about Christmas, the third thing that really bugs me about Christmas are these. Um, Every year I bake thing, uh, these tins of th goods for my kids' teachers. Um, we put in ch uh, chocolate chip cookies, brownies, and gingerbreads. And um, it seems like now that my kids are in middle school and high school, as you can see, the list of teachers just gets longer and longer. And so the time it takes me to do this just also gets longer and longer. Um, and I have j literally just before I started making this video finished icing the last piece of gingerbread and it this project has been um, several weeks long um, So that's uh, the other thing that bugs me about Christmas, but enough rambling about what I don't like about Christmas What I want to tell you is what I love about Hanukkah and that is I love lighting the menorahs which So this is a menorah, um, and we light one of these for eight nights. Um, you start with the shamus, which is the one that, which is the worker candle, and that is the one that's used to light all the other candles. So on the first light, we light one candle, um, and then on the second light, we light the first candle and then another candle until by the end of eight nights, we light all eight candles. Um, the other thing I really love about Hanukkah is making latkes, which are potato pancakes. And except that the one thing that always seems to happen to me is that whenever I have to make latkes and I have a lot of family coming over, my food processor with the grating utensil, oh, here, my daughter's bringing over, um, these are some leftover latkes from the other night. This is a latke. It, they're not very good cold. They're much better warm. Um, but this is a handmade latke. Um, and this really was Don't handmade because... Um, um, as I was saying, um, whenever I have to make latkes for a lot of people, the, inevitably the um, grating attachment on my Cuisinart breaks. And so we had to grate all these by hand. And as you can see, I have um, tennis elbow. And um, so grating this really, doing all the grating really aggravated my tennis elbow. Um, 
but still I love making latkes for all my family and um, and I love having all my family together because really to me that's what life is about um, and the thing I also love is giving presents to my children and seeing the looks on their faces when they open them. Here, Amy. <gasps> a sock! Oh, a Hanukkah sock! Aren't you happy? Yeah! <laughs> so, what I'd like to do is give one of you an even better present. <gasps> and no! And that's a copy of um, my, an arc of my newest book, Life After, which is coming out in July. And um, the story about this is, is really quite amazing. Um, a mother-daughter book group met to read my first book, Confessions of a Closet Catholic. And um, one of the moms wrote to me afterwards, and she um, thanked me for meeting with them. And she said to me, you know, my daughter became interested in writing after she lost her father on 9-11. And she asked me if I had ever considered writing a book about 9-11 because at that point there really wasn't anything uh, out there for teens. And as it turned out, I had written a synopsis about um, a girl who moved here from Argentina who had lost her aunt in a terrorist bombing there and then subsequently made friends with... Um, a girl who lost her father on 9-11. And, but I had put that in a, in a um, drawer because I hadn't really connected with the characters and I had written my second book, Purge. Well, when Claudette wrote to me, I took that synopsis out of the drawer and I sent it to her and she said, oh, you must write a book. So I spoke to my editors at Scholastic and they liked the idea, but they thought it should be young adult rather than middle grade and that became the book Life After, and it is dedicated to the woman who wrote to me. Um, it's dedicated to Colette Gr Claudette Green, who is the woman who um, first wrote to me about the idea of writing a book about 9-11. So this will be going to one lucky reader of Reading is Bliss blog, um, and I hope you all have a very happy holidays. Thank you. Thanks for having me here.